In times of crisis, boys and girls need stability. They need knowledge to combat fear and stigma. And they need the support of schools and communities to give them hope that life will return to normal. In 2014, the outbreak of Ebola virus brought the education sector to a standstill across Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. Five million children were not just deprived of critical months of their schooling, but also prone to risk of abuse, early marriage, teenage pregnancy, violence and exploitation, the effects of which could hamper their psychological and social development for years to come. During an epidemic like Ebola, education is not only a powerful force in stopping the spread of the disease, it is also the greatest tool to keep our children physically and emotionally protected and ensure they have the best chance of reaching their full potential during and in spite of the situation of emergency. The Safe School Protocols were developed by UNICEF and partners together with ministries of education in Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia enabling an effective response which allowed all schools to return to functioning routinely and safely despite the ongoing epidemic. It is crucial that these protocols are understood and that all mechanisms and measures be put in place before the event of a future outbreak to ensure our communities, parents, teachers and students are equipped with the knowledge and guidelines necessary to keep them protected and to ensure that learning is not disrupted unnecessarily. The protocols will require sector-wide planning and collaboration, strict implementation, and some major changes to daily school routines. This will demand the full commitment of the whole education community, from government, health and education authorities, to teachers, parents, communities, and students. Everyone has a critical role to play. As the global community, we must be prepared and we must put the knowledge we now have at our disposal to good use to keep our schools open, our children safe, and our communities free from Ebola and similar diseases.